While the August tornadoes may seem like a lifetime ago, people who suffered property damage are still feeling the effects. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Along Noble and Dietz Roads near Williamston, the construction and damage can be hard to miss even today. News 10's Aaron Bowling continues our coverage of a pre-Civil War family farm that sat right in the tornado's path. Lifting the curtain or the barn door on the rebuilding of the historic Dietz family farm. It's been a long process waiting to get to this point. Nine months later, we have a basement and the progress to see it visually is very nice. First established in the 1830s, the sixth generation family farm in Williamston was devastated by the August 2023 tornado. Today, the horses are back, a barn is up, and the home's foundation has been poured for a fresh start. We're going to build a one level ranch. Everything's, you know, we're, we're looking at this house as this is our retirement home in the future now. Although insurance did not keep pace with the cost of building, the family says they were also denied FEMA assistance. My son likely take the farm over. Uh, he will probably have a family and it'll be a smaller house than we originally had. For other homeowners, Tim Dietz recommends a regular insurance review to keep your coverage values up to date. Okay, especially post-COVID because the cost of construction has just about doubled. What we had, I think, insured for was probably closer to $150 a square foot and the actual cost is going to come in over $250 a square foot. While the community has supported the family, donating trees and time, among other things, they call it a tiring process that may get finished this winter. With lumber freshly delivered and a construction crew starting Monday, they say it's a great feeling to see the steps forward. Some of our tulips and our patch of poppies all came up this year, so it was nice to see some color. There's not a whole lot on the yard, not a lot of trees left. We've actually got crops in the ground already this year, so it's just moving on. It's a new year. In Williamston, Aaron Bowling, News 10. Now the Dees family was first notified of that tornado back in August right as their windows blew in. They say the storm has taught them the importance of staying weather aware and having multiple ways to receive alerts. Well, the guy who gives us the alerts yes. is going to tell us about a sunny start to our weekend. That's right, Andy Provenzano out on the weather patio with our first check of the forecast. Hello, Andy. It's been a great day, hasn't it?